G'day guys, welcome back. My name's Grizzly, and this, my friends, is Boundless. So in the far, the past couple of episodes, we've had some problems with uh, lag and so forth. Um, that would explain why I have not released an episode for a week or so. I'm just waiting for some updates to happen. Um, the C++ version is out, uh, but it's not complete. It's only in the testing phase. So that's something we will take a look at maybe next episode. We'll have a quick look around the C++ environment and just sort of compare it and see what it, we think about it. That's the way it's heading. That's how it's going to be. So, yeah, good things are happening, guys. Hopefully performance increases and stuff like that. We've still got a little bit of lag, but not too bad, not as bad as it has been. Um, yeah, as you can see, the slow network is coming up at the top there, unfortunately. Which sort of does deter from the experience a little bit, but never mind, we will continue on. This is Sea Shrine, this is where we left off last episode. We're going to have a quick look around, and then we're going to head back to base. We're going to do a bit of crafting, and then we're going to check out another world as we do every episode. So, Sea Shrine people, here we go. So there's lots of forests, we've got, uh, it's like wheat fields or something, very cool. Plenty of goats around the place, plenty of goats. Which is good. I'm looking forward to some more creatures coming in, as I might have mentioned. It's going to be cool. There's lots of things planned for this game, which is very exciting. So it's not just going to be all about building and exploring and so forth. There's going to be a lot more depth to it, which should be cool. Look at this. Check it out. It looks like it's, they've actually built a tree section on the top. How cool is that? That's that's pretty cool. Can we go inside? Let's go inside. <laughs> that's actually quite... It looks quite effective. It's like mushrooms on a tree or something. That's really cool. Alright. See, the way you can use different textures and stuff in this game is awesome. You just play around and just, yeah, just get into it. Just play around with it and play with the different textures and see what you can come up with. See, this is just very inventive. It's cool. Look at that. That is cool. That is really cool. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. Awesome. Well done, whoever did this. This is very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so I'm not quite sure. It's not a very big building, though, is it? I'm not going to give any people in there. That's cool. Alright, so moving right along, we've got another building over here. Let's go check this one out. Alright. Gonna try and get up these hills first. Alright, okay, here we go. So we have died a little bit the last couple of times. I think a little bit of lag caused a few issues there, but... Um, oh, this is where we were. Ah! So now, have we got... No, we haven't got much at all. Oh yikes, he's coming after me. He's gonna try and kill me. Okay, we might have to we might have to withdraw. We might have to uh, run away from this guy because we just we're just not equipped. We died and we haven't replaced anything yet, so I just wanted to have a quick more bit of a look around um, Sea Shrine before we head off to another place. And sort of didn't sort of stick around to make much gear, unfortunately. I like this person maybe it's the same person integrating this into the structures, it's very cool. Alright guys, so this is Sea Shrine, this is, uh, yeah, another world as we go through our worlds exploring the different, uh, environments and seeing what's available there, that's very, that's interesting, is that someone's actually built that? Crazy, they've built like a, basically they've built a tree, that's awesome, that's really cool, awesome, alright, so this is like a little, I don't know, a little village or a little village, I'm gonna check this out, oh, I'm oh, sorry, it's a goat, it's alright. We can let the guy go. I'm not exactly equipped for this. We have been here before, I think. We had a quick look around last time. But, um... It's like we can have a bit more of a look around. We've got some different textures here and... And whatnot. It's just different materials. Oop. Hope that's the uh, goat making that noise in the background there. That's all cool. Okay, so we'll just keep wandering along. Let's go and have a look over there. Pendragon the Ninja. That's interesting, though. Pendragon the Ninja. He's got to have an awesome base, surely. With a name like that, let's check it out. It's inside of a mountain. Oh, look at it. That's a pretty cool mountain. See, someone's built into the side of the mountain over there. That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's going to do a bit of jumping to get up this, this mountain, but we'll get there. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Be handy if we had a grappling hook or something. <laughs> I don't think we're actually going to get out of it without it. To be honest, I think we're going to be, it's going to take us, yeah, quite a bit of time to jump all the way up there. So we won't, we'll give that a miss for the time being, simply due to time constraints and so forth. They're not having the correct tools, although we can go check that place out. What is this? This is like a bit of an, excellent, a bit of an entrance way. Took a bit of damage there. Oh my god, another one of those butt flickers right there. Let's go inside, let's check this out. Okay, so we've got a hallway. Nice. 
Uh, dude, you can still hear him in the background. He's still he's still trying to tack us through the uh, through the walls. It just won't be happening. Won't be happening. This is all very interesting. Very cool. Interesting. So yeah, very nice. Okay, so this is this guy's base. Very nice. I like the entrance way. That's pretty cool. Oh, you've got some windows in there. That's something we're going to be playing around with. Um, I want to play around with a couple of a couple of crafting things uh, this episode. Just a couple of things we haven't done before. Um, yeah. So what we might do now is we will head back to base uh, and back to our awesome castle. And uh, we will do a bit of crafting. So let's just teleport to a world and we live on, of course, towers. There we go. Awesome. So there has been a lot of updates. Is uh, like I said, it's being updated to. Oh, great! It's raining. Uh, being upgraded to C plus plus, which should make it a lot more, uh, a lot, a lot more performance increases. Uh, it also is getting the devs are getting ready to port it across to the PS4, I believe, being released at the same time as the PC this year sometime. Um, so that's very cool as well. So there's a lot of new features being added. Uh, I believe the HUD's being worked on. Lots, lots of things. Lots of lots and lots of different interesting cool stuff. So here we are, back at back at our base. Right, so I guess the first thing we need to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to get some basic materials. Uh, I'm going to get my basic tools back. Um, and then we're going to craft some stuff. So if you'd like to hang on there, peeps, I will be right back. Okay, guys, and we're back. So we've got some basic tools. I've, well, I've made a uh, wood hammer, a wood shovel, and a wood axe, and of course a sling bow, but I don't have any bolts arrows for that at this stage. But that's cool. We can uh, get them down the track. Now, what we want to try and work today is we're going to make a lamp. So we're going to need glass, we're going to need timber, we're going to need a torch for that one. So for glass, we're going to need sand. And in our resources area right here, we can get some sand. Like so, there we go, beautiful, so I've got one sand now, the way I, I, I'm working this at the moment is just grab one sand, because we have the infinite function, we can do thus, so we've got the sand in number 6, so, we'll just place a load of sand, now if you guys obviously have any quick way of doing this, I'm more than open to suggestions. But uh, this is what I've come up with so far. So we just, so we don't have to store a whole heap of this gear. We just store a couple of each one, and then we just come back and we grab this like so. Maybe the wood shovel would probably be a better choice. I think for this sand shovel, yeah, a little bit quicker. Righto. So, and then we go ahead and smash it all the bits, pick it all up, which is a really handy little tool with a little tip. Um, so yeah, you don't have to have a massive storeroom to, to like store heaps and heaps and heaps of this gear. Just a couple, one or two, whatever. Um, as we, this is great because as we can search around the different worlds, we come across new resources and stuff. We just pick up one or two of them, chuck them into our store area, and we have an infinite supply. And all we have to do is just grab one, place it, and smash it all to pieces like so, and we are good to go. So there we go. We've got some more sand there. Just grab these last couple of pieces here. So I hope you guys are uh, really enjoying this game. It is a great game. It's, it's a fun game to play. Um, there has been issues. Of course, there's going to be performance issues. It's in early access. It's expected, but we deal with it and we move along. It's only ever going to get better, so it's, it's really cool. Something to look forward to. Okay, so we've got all our sand. So I'm going to chuck the sand up there. Now, to get them across, we press Shift, left click, and that's automatically put into there. We can make some glass. So let's go ahead and make some glass. Right, what's the next component? So we've got some glass. We need four glass. So if we just turn our infinite off, we've got two glass. So we're going to need a little bit more sand, aren't we? Yes. So we're going to need so we need five, we've got three, we need another eleven. My calculations are correct. So, I'll chuck them down to six. We will continue on. We will place some more. So we need two, we'll do twelve, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay, so let's get these bad boys all smashed up into our greedy little hands and then we can make some glass and we'll move on to the next portion of our recipe, a lamp, that's going to be cool, I'm interested to see how this is going to work out, we maybe, we won't need the torches I guess, which, you know, it's just another light source which could be handy, I know that the uh, the gleam, the cool gleam stuff is pretty cool for light as well, that makes it, gives it a bit of an eerie effect depending on what colour you use, we've only got green so far but 
there are probably, I don't know actually, I think there's about seven or eight or so, correct me if I'm wrong, different colored gleams. Um, so they, they, they're cool, they'll come in handy for sparkling up the place a little bit. Okay, so we'll just chuck that over there. We've got two more glass, so that gives us now four glass. Perfect. Okay, so we need four ancient timber. So, similar sort of scenario. We should have some ancient timber around here. Right here looks like ancient timber. Actually, if we've got another if we've got another sand in there, we do have another sand. So what we'll do is we'll just replace that one. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got ancient timber here. Uh, I believe four is our axe. So let's just chop some timber down. So we need four of those. So let's go out here. And we'll place away. So for number seven, we've got him in. Oops, let's close that up. I'll do it again properly. Okay, so seven, two, three. We've got four, one for luck. Beautiful. Okay, so let's smash these guys up. We don't even have to leave our base. How good is that? Not like we have the fossic around anymore. We've got all this stuff handy because we're professional explorers now and gatherers, professional gatherer explorers, which is cool. Okay, so we've got, all right, let's just turn that off for a moment. We've got six of those. We've got ancient trunk, so we need to make that into ancient timber. So that'll give us four. Perfect. Ah, we didn't even need to get a bunch of trunks. That was a bit of a poor calculation there. So one, one ancient trunk makes four timber. So we only need one. That was it. Right, so let's chuck all this stuff in here. So what have we got in here now? We'll just take that back out again. Right, so we need four glass, we need four inch timber, and a torch that we made previously, and we have a lamp. Voila, there we go, guys. So our lamp, number, we'll put in number seven. Uh, where should we put it? Where shall we put it? So it's a bit of a, ooh, it does put out some light, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. I wonder if we should, uh, let's, let's, let's make a hole in the wall, and we'll just place it. How about we place it Maybe on this side. So what have we got? We've got a hammer. Let's take this guy out. Oop, that's all we need to do. All right, number seven, we'll chuck him in. All right, actually, what we might do is, just so we can test it out and see what sort of light. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of this guy. Can get rid of that guy. That guy there. Oh yeah, it's a very soft glowing lamp. That's very cool. That's quite nice. Actually, you can see the uh, like dust particle effect. That's really cool. Oh wow. Very cool, very nice. Oh, we'll definitely make some more lamps. That's pretty nice. I like that. It's very soft. It's not like in your face sort of, in your face light, which is quite nice. That's awesome. All right, so that one's done. So now, I picked the, did I pick up all those torches? Yeah, I did. I picked up all the torches. So let's put the, Let's put the torches back on the wall. We just want a little bit more, little bit more light. Um, so we'll just chuck one. Oops, chuck him there, and we'll chuck him back up there. That's better. That's good. Oh, what's he doing all the way up there? Did I put him up there? Let's get him down. Well, I don't think we need him up there. Okay, so number one, we'll chuck him there. Beautiful. All right, so we are on fire. There we go. So we've created, we've created a lamp. Very. Very impressive, very impressive lamp. Right, the next thing we want to do is, I want to make a bounce pad. I've been itching to make a bounce pad since since the beginning. But we just sort of got sidetracked and wanted to make different things. So, we have to make a, we're gonna just uh, ancient trunk him for a little bit. And we'll click on that. We need to make some ancient timber. Uh, we'll put that back. Ancient timber. There it is, bounce pad. So that's all it takes one of those. Oh, no it doesn't. I'm sorry, it takes 12. So, okay, so a little bit of, I gotta, I gotta be excited. I got a little excited. I really wanna see the bounce pad. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I'll put that in the yard, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a ball. Okay, so, that should be right. So 12 of those, get rid of that guy. Is that right? Yes, we got it. Okay, there we go. So there's the, we'll put him in number eight. Bob Girani, beautiful, let's go. Let's get out there. I'm pretty excited. It's like a trampoline. Woohoo! Alright, so we're going to stick him in the yard. Um, should we have like a bouncy area? We'll just sort of... What about if we just put it down here somewhere? Uh, we'll make... Uh, we'll actually build it into the ground. What do you reckon? So we'll make it part of the... Part of the floor. There we go. So... Number eight. Alright. 
Here we go. Beautiful. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, that's a letdown. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> it sounds like a drum. I'm bouncing it. Is that it? Is that it? Oh. I've got to be honest with you guys, I feel a bit let down. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try and double tap, see if it makes any higher, but I'm, I'm, I don't seem to be getting very high. Let's just adjust the light here so we can see what we're doing. There you are. Oh, look at that. It's suddenly daytime. Awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful work. <laughs> Let's get back on this guy. Oh, I'm missing it. My body's not right. It's, it might be easy if I, like, um... Hang on. Let's just... Can I do that? Uh, oops. Oh, I'll get it right in a minute. That's that's not the one I want. Let's uh, go. There we go. That's it. I'm on there now. Right here we go. <laughs> I don't see to be. And look, it seems to be making the drum noise when I'm half on it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about this, guys. A little bit, little bit, little bit disappointed. Unless I'm not using the, the mini tramp correctly. I'm assuming you jump up and down on it and make it go higher. Maybe you need a few of them. Oh, that's weird. I tell you what, guys. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go. I'm going to make a few more of these guys. I'm going to put them all. Well, that was an. Oh, that was an unlucky view, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to put these guys back. Uh, I'm put these guys back. I'm going to go and make some more, and we'll have a few of them, and then see if that makes any difference, because I'm sure, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to bounce, and like, it's like a trampoline or something. So that's a little bit, oh, it's a bit of a letdown, to be honest. Alright, I'll, I'll go, I'll be right back. Hold on there. Okay, guys, I'm back. So we've made eight of them. So now we're gonna, just going to try a few things out. Alright, we'll see if we can get this <laughs> to be a little bit more... No. Nah. <laughs> it's uh, it's uh, it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Okay, all right. So let's try. No, that's not going to work either. Okay, let's. We'll try it again. Here we go. Okay, big run up. I'm going to try and run up and jump. That was that's ridiculous. I'll do it next to it. I was a little bit maybe. Maybe you gotta jump from a great height. See, I did look at. I did. I only. I only jumped once there, and I, I actually bounced. Yeah, see, so I bounced twice. Well, I bounced once, funny. So I, I hit the jump once. Oh, whoops. Actually, no, I'll try and get on it first and hit the jump. Here we go. So you bounce. I bounced a couple of times. So it's not not a huge bounce, just a little bounce. Nothing too excited to get too excited about. Yeah. Okay, well, there's another experiment. Maybe if we... Let's just shoot up here and have a look. I don't know if I'll be able to get it from up here. Let's have a look. Righto. I'm going to try. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to... This is, this is a future experiment here. I'm going to have to um, maybe move this a little bit closer to the wall. and um, Or even build something to jump off of. Even better. I could probably build... Yeah. Build something and see if it works any better. Actually, let's, let's do it now. Let's, let's see what we've got. What have I got? I've got some granite here. Uh, let's make that infinite. We'll just stick that number nine. Let's just build something. Just a basic little thing. I just need to get closer to this guy. That's it. Oops. So, we'll go... What do we go? Three up. Oops. Probably didn't need to do that one. To get rid of this guy. So we've made some stairs, made a little bit of a platform. Let's go and check it out. Okay, we're up here. Here we go. Ready? Hang on, let's turn him on this guy. Ready? And I missed. <laughs> okay, so I've got to be very careful about where I'm actually jumping here. Oh, jeez Louise. What is going on with this? What am I doing? What am I doing here, guys? So I did have a bit of bounce. I caught the end of it. See, it's all awesome sound effects. It's like a drum. <laughs> Alright guys, let's move on. Let's keep it going. Well, that was a bit of fun. We're going to play around with that in the future. That's, uh, we're going we're gonna to have a lot more fun with that, I think. 
But anyway, for the meantime, we have to we have to go and check out another world. So let's go and check out. We are up to so Sea Shrine was the one we just investigated. Bit of a slow searching problem here. All right, waiting. So that was a bit of fun. We'll, we'll get those bounce pads. I'm not exactly sure what the purpose is, whether it is acting like a bit of a trampoline sort of setup or, um, yeah, or, or what the go is. But it certainly doesn't give you a bunch of a rebound anyway. So here we go. So Sea Shrine was our last one. We went to Fulva. Fulva. Here we go. We're going to check out Fulva. Brand new world. Never been here before, so we're not sure what to expect. Probably raining. Been to a few worlds. Oh, it's night time. Right, so let's just... Let's just fix that right now. Oh, here we go. Wow. Okay, so we're on on top of a huge mountain. Uh, yeah. How how do we... Oh, actually, no. We're in amongst the trees, aren't we? I'm a bit concerned about the, uh, the drop, to be honest. Where do we go from here? Right. Um, okay. Oh. Oh, we've got a bit of a... Bit of a lag issue that might explain a few few dramas. What's it? It's just like snow mountains or something. It's pretty cool. Let's just drop down here. And, ah! Ooh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, we didn't die, so that's a good sign. We'll just head up the mountain. Maybe we should do a bit of uh, research. What have we got? What have we got? To oh, jeez. Let's go back to this guy. This view here is probably the most practical view. Um, let's go. We'll go to shovel. Let's see. What have we got? What sort of materials have we got here? Okay, what did we get? Anything of interest? Grass seed, and we got granite. So nothing, nothing new there. So let's go up the mountain. All right. Finding a lot of these, a lot of these worlds are very mountainous, very hilly. So I oh, maybe that's to encourage you. Oh, there's a bit of a lake over there. Fulva. This is. The grand land of Fulva, and there's a big river or something. Oh, there's a butt flicking dude, and we haven't got any arrows yet, so we can't really go after him. We really need to get some more of that explosive essence because we want to blow crap up, and that's fun. So we definitely need to get some more arrows. We'll do that um, in the next episode, or I'll try and get that done uh, off camera, um, and then we can go hunting and get a few of those guys and blow some stuff up, which would be, which is always good fun. So, what have we got up here? Somebody's got some sort of a, a outpost or something on top of this mountain. This is pretty cool. Is that like made out of snow or ice or something? That's, that's really neat. Oh, wow. Look, now, see, this guy's got some bounce pads. He's got bounce pads galore. It's, oh, wow. What's that stuff? It's like a red, uh, a red fungus. Interesting. So, yeah, anyway, look at this. This is uh, pretty wacky and crazy and out there. I like it. Wacky and crazy are always good. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, he loves his bounce pads for sure. Maybe not use the way they're intended, I don't know. Maybe I'm not using the way intended, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, use them however you like. I mean, this is a good contrasting colour. Not quite sure what purpose this has. Is it supposed to turn or something? Kind of crazy. It's got a, like a friendly goat hanging around. Very neat. So that's a bit, bit different. Very different. You go right up top there. Oh, we can have a look up there. Let's go and have a look inside. Goats get a bit aggro. Oh, maybe I can't get inside the door. Oh, let's start losing a bit of weight, I think. Here we go. Right, let's go up here. Okay. So he's using a fair bit of... Ah, here we go. Now we can see. Whoa, okay. So now we can have a bit of a look. This is the, the grand land of Fulva. Let's stop and have a bit of a look. So it looks like snowy mountain peaks. We got some uh, red tree forests, whatever they are. There's a bit of a building over there. We've got a oh look at this. We've got a big walkway going through here. Somebody spent a lot of time doing this. That's the problem with this. It is a time sink. This game. You can just spend hours just just building crazy things, and and believe it or not, they are going to be building um, bringing in machines. So not only will you be spending hours building structures you'll be probably spending hours building machines as well and that's crazy and you'll be able to make a pretty wacky sort of contraptions which will be really neat so this is this is different I like it I like it bit of imagination that's great stuff 
Alright guys, well thank you very much for watching. This is the end of uh, episode 7 of the series. I, I think we're going great guns. We're having a good look around, good explore. Uh, it would be nice to spend more time exploring the areas, but they are very big. Um, I'm just giving you a very, very small glimpse of what there is out there. I mean, they've got floating islands over the back there. Every map's got a lot more to offer. Um, I, I sort of... I would like you guys, if you've got the game, get out there and explore. Just even just send some snapshots in to me if you like. I'm happy to publish them in the, I'll, I'll show them in the videos. Whatever, if you come across some interesting places, let me know. I can go and check them out. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll work together. We'll, we'll do a lot more exploring and uh, we'll have a lot more fun. So if you did enjoy the episode, please hit me with a like. Uh, please subscribe and I'll keep you up to date with my future release episodes. And um, yeah, we'll carry on our adventure. Because this is, this is pretty awesome. So yeah, it's only ever going to get better. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uru.